broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. All the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. Let me tell you a little bit about uh, Gabe. Gabe was a pilot in the Air Force. His first deployment was in Qatar, and then he was deployed in Afghanistan. He also was in South Africa. In May 2017, Gabe was deployed in Iraq, where he suffered a traumatic brain injury. Since being... I'd also like to thank, once again, the more than 1,200 community and staff volunteers. Without all of you, this celebration would not be possible. So, Scouts, thank you very much for showing up today. It's a great day for a Veterans Day parade. We're very proud of you. My goodness, we have candy. What we believe to be candy here, being distributed out to, to the, the members of the, uh, on the, uh, <laughs> up here near the podium. That's great. Okay, I just told you a um, Veterans Day parade here, James A. Hill. Okay, and in a really sporting uh, Corvette here, we have the assistant director of the hospital, Ms. Suzanne Tate, in a white Corvette. My, in, a, in a World War II era Jeep, we have um, the... Um, Chief Medical Officer, now be careful with that Jeep there, sir. Oh my gosh, he's throwing things. A Vision 8, and also Laureen Dolorizo, Associate Director of Patient Care, serving as a tune-up on that Jeep. <laughs> Moa Operation Helping Hands, thank you folks. And who else do we have here? Dancing for Joy, yay! What a day for a parade! Ladies, you look great. All right. When you bring candy to a Veterans Day parade, you know you mean it. Thank you very much. Lovely, lovely young ladies there. Thank you very much. And folks supporting them. Thank you. Following, do we have a... Hello. And, and who do you represent, folks? 1955, uh, a beautiful uh, antique, well-restored car here. The American Legion, USS Post. All right, folks. And following, we have Disabled American Veterans, Chapter 4. All right. A big hand for DAV. Thank you for all you do for our veterans. School. In the house, showing up. On a beautiful day for a parade. You see the intent and the respect and the purpose. Thank you, Freedom High Junior, uh, Freedom High Junior ROTC, Navy ROTC. Thank you very much. Following, we have the American Heritage Girl Scouts Troop, Florida, 0529, made up of girls ages 5 through 18 who promise to love God, honor our country, cherish our family, and serve in our community. We thank our veterans for their service to our country. Thank you very much, Girl Scouts House, for all you do. PVA is front and center, and I'm, um, I think that I would be speaking the truth to say that PVA was, was a, a valued, essential partner in the building of our spinal cord injury center here at the James Haley VA Hospital. Thank you so much for all you do, PVA, for the Gulf Coast. Now, following behind, you'll notice there's, uh, it looks like three Jeeps. Um, four Jeeps, I'm sorry, where's the fourth? They're not AWOL, are they? They're back there? Okay, good, okay. 
So these are the Florida Trail Stompers. Trail Stompers, exploring Florida one trail at a time. Can't see how you do it any other way. Florida Trail Stompers in the house, all right. Great to see you. Showing the colors too. I see the fourth. Next year, the last shall be first. Oh my gosh, there's a pony. There's a white pony inside that uh, Jeep. Is that a pony? I don't know what you saw, but there's a high school marching band. Spoto High School. Sir. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing the colors. Navy, Junior, ROTC. Looking sharp. Looking good. And you can't have a Veterans Day parade without a marching band. And they've shown up in colors. Spoto High School marching band. Thank you for the patriotic music. Heritage Girl Scouts troop. And what's the number of that troop? 231? 2031. Thank you. Okay, all right. Okay. Girl Scout troops in Florida. 2031. Thank you. This next this next vehicle's gotta be big. And what I'm seeing here is this is the crew of St. Bridget. Crew of St. Bridget. Chartered in July 2003 and formed with community service in mind. The crew of St. Bridget aspire to make significant contributions to women's charities. We're glad you're here today on Veterans Day, the 11th annual Veterans Day Parade here at James A. Haley VA Hospital. Now, I don't know who's driving that monster, but uh, keep your hands steady on that wheel. Glad to see you showing the colors there. That's right. Glad to see you showing the colors. Now, I think for next year, when you come back, you probably could elevate another six or 12 inches, but you know, you're looking good today, no, looking good. All right. In camo and olive drab, here we go, McDill Air Force Base, tactical vehicles. Staff Sergeant Ronnie Hennington, Staff Sergeant Christopher LaVerge, new participants this year in our 11th annual Veterans Day Parade. I could mix metaphors and say you guys are looking ship shape, but I don't, I'm not going to do that. You're looking great. All right. Okay, and this last uh, tactical vehicle's uh, throwing friendly, <laughs> friendly things to the audience. Grab a t-shirt if you can. Now folks, make sure that you uh, stay clear of those big four wheels on that vehicle. Five if you count one that's on the back. <laughs> oh my. Who is this lady in that white dress? Who is that lady? Why? They must represent the National Society Daughters of the American Revolution, descendants of America's first veterans. D-A-R, Daughters of the American Revolution. You look great, ladies. Thank you so much. There's history and heritage there. All right. Long 
Okay, this uh, cha has Tampa Charter, Sons of the American Revolution, and Children of the American Revolution, direct descendants of the founders of our nation. They honor our, honor our ancestors by promoting patriotism and supporting education on American history. Great. Folks, you look great. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Okay, next we have King High School Navy Junior ROTC. You look crisp, you look good. Thank you so much for being here. We have Girl Scouts here. Troop 32830, Girl Scouts. All right, thank you ladies. Thank you girls for being here. Thank you for your support. What a great day for a parade. All right. Parade, our 11th annual. I guess it, I'm not sure if it's proper to say man's best friend anymore. So, with people's best friend, these four legs. All right, Southeastern Guide Dogs, helping our veterans, helping the blind. True community service. Thank you. At no cost. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for what you do. And you gotta love the rap on that vehicle. That kind of says it all. Veterans like Contest. <laughs> this is Santa's Drill Team. Their words, not mine. For Santa's with the common purpose to bring honor to our military families in light, in a light, humorous, and patriotic way. All right. Carry on, men. I mean, carry on, Santas. Take care. Good to see you. Oh, and we, and we have the banner. The banner follows the, the, the show. <laughs> All right. And that's that's showing you the colors. And, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Santa's team. They come in support of veterans. Ye mystic crew of Gasparilla. Since 1904, the mystic crew of Gasparilla has hosted Tampa's signature annual events. The Gasparilla Invasion and Parade of Pirates. The Parade of Pirates is the third largest single parade in the country, right here in Tampa, by the mystic crew of Gasparilla. The Gasparilla's Children's Parade, which is now the largest children's parade in the United States, right here in Tampa. Glad you made a show here at the James A. Haley 11th Annual Veterans Day Parade. And of note, in the Gasper Parade, Gasparilla Parade, James A. Haley shows up and will be showing up for the third year in, in a row. So we'll be there. Oh, all right. <laughs> Okay, and we have an enthusiastic member of the audience who's shouting out to the Wharton High School Navy Junior ROTC. Wharton High School Navy Junior ROTC. You look sharp, you look serious, you look like you're intent. Glad to show up. And mom, I think you're proud of your son. Thank you so much. What? Another Corvette? How can it be? The Sun and Fun Vets, Tampa. We thank them for supporting our veterans. By, by providing their, quote, vets in our parade today. Yeah, that's a clever play on words. And escorting our leadership. That's one, two, oh my gosh. We're not talking one, two, three. We're talking, what, six, seven vets? Yeah. Go oh, and, and they're throwing candy with, with purpose. All right, candy for all. That's a sweet looking stingray right there, sir. Yeah, looking good, that's right, yeah. Can you clone that? 
Looking good. All right. And there's another sporting yellow vet. Oh my gosh. Looking good, guys. Looking real good. I'm, sir, that yellow vet, that's, that's showing some class and style right there. I like that one. I'll take three. Just kidding. Looking good, oh my gosh. That's gotta cost a pretty penny, folks. We'll give, we'll give a little bit more directions once we have the time. So here we have the military women of Tampa Bay Unit 55. Ladies, good to see you. Thank you for supporting our veterans on Veterans Day. Looking good. All right. You know, the spirit of Teddy Roosevelt lives on. Right here in Tampa. The Tampa Rough Riders with the colors. The Rough Riders are a philanthropic, non-profit historical crew for the past 40 years based on Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders in the Spanish-American War. This amazing group feeds over 400 veterans every Thanksgiving here at our hospital. 400 veterans at our hospital every Thanksgiving. All right. Rough Riders, thank you very much. With the colors, they have 560 members that continuously give back to the community. We see some, I see that Rough Rider, we recognize him. He's beating the, the, the director. We'll allow that, this parade. He comes in, uh, in goodwill with all those beads. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> 